Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Joel back with you and today we're going to talk about my gaming setup a little bit. So since I've built a PC here and started working with that, got into a little bit of PC gaming so I needed the peripherals to up my game. So we're going to talk about my two favorite gaming peripherals that I've had and been using. We're going to talk about my favorite gaming keyboard as well as my new favorite gaming mouse. Let's take a look. So to start things off here, we are going to talk about the Corsair K65 Lux RGB mechanical keyboard. That is a mouthful, but I went with the 10 keyless here because with my standing desk here and this smaller desk setup, I don't have tons of extra room for mouse space. So 10 keyless don't need the extra numeric pad. Uh, and this really adds some extra space. I love the Lux RGB here. The colors look great. They're super customizable. You can change just about anything you want with it. Rainbow patterns, raindrop, visors across, whatever you want. I keep it as a static setup most of the time just to match with the rest of my setup. I think the cycle of RGB colors is, is pretty distracting for me, but that's my personal opinion. I got the Cherry MX Red switches here. And this isn't as clicky as the blues, but it is more clicky than the browns. I think it's the sweet spot for me with gaming. It's responsive, it's quick, still has a good tactile feedback when you're typing and doing other things, but I really like it. It has a nice texture on the space bar. This actually comes with these textured keys that you're able to put on your WASD for like first person shooters or the uh, the next Q W E R T mode for uh, MOBAs and other online games like that. It's real quick. You can pop off the keycaps and stick them on there. I haven't personally had that so far, but I like the texture on the space bar. It feels really good. I really like the soft touch wrist rest on here. Feels really good. It's a nice texture uh, and it's comfortable. You don't have any issues. Build quality on this keyboard is awesome. It's a brushed aluminum that just looks great in my opinion, and it's gonna be nice and sturdy. Along the back here, you're actually gonna get a USB pass-through, which is really nice. I have my mouse running into the keyboard, save a little bit of space on your desktop, as well as an extra hub there. This has 100% anti-ghosting with full key rollover. Just means you can hit as many buttons as you want and it'll register them. Along the top of the keyboard, you're going to see a few things. You'll see the brightness setting, which toggles with three settings. You can either have it off and then three brightness levels. To the right of that, you have your mute sound button and then volume up and volume down, which I personally really appreciate to be able to quickly adjust music and in-game sound. And then lastly, this button makes it so that when it is activated, you won't accidentally hit your Windows key or any other key that you bind to this. So you can hit that and then if you're in the game, you won't hit a Windows key and, and jump out of your game real quick. I know that has happened to me before with other keyboards accidentally hitting the Windows key and jumping out of your game. You freak it out trying to get back in your game. This way you click that and any type of buttons you don't want to be activated during the game won't be active when this is hit. I can't say enough about how great this keyboard is. It's really solid, it's small and fits my space well. Uh, the keys feel great, it's responsive, and uh, for me, I don't need all the extra macro keys and all the stuff on the sides. I just want a keyboard that is working great, and this does the job. Next up, we're going to be talking about the M65 Pro RGB mouse. Now, the M65 was a well-known great mouse from Corsair to begin with, so they upped it with the Pro. And there's just a few little changes, but the main difference is the 12,000 DPI optical sensor. They really improved this one. It has a surface calibration built into the software that you can set up to check out what surface you're using your mouse on to really get the best out of your mouse. It has three points of illumination in the front by the scroll wheel here, in the middle by the DPI settings which change colors by what setting you're on, and then lastly on the back with the logo and out the bottom which looks really great. This is an aircraft grade aluminum and it just feels great in the hand. It's a really good weight. Speaking of weight, there's actually adjustable weight in the bottom. So 
I personally like it as heavy as it is when it comes with it, but you can take out some of these weights in there, unscrew them here, and then this will actually lighten up the mouse a little bit. So if you don't want it as heavy as it is, uh, you can then adjust that to make it more customized for you. So along the side here is pretty cool. There's this little uh, sniper button, and this is great for first person shooters. When you need to get the exact precision shot, then you can hold down this button and it changes your DPI to whatever you customize it to. So if you want it down to a low DPI, like 600 or something like that, to really be able to zoom in and get that perfect shot, you hold this down and it'll change your DPI while you're holding it down to that setting. With that aircraft grade aluminum is this textured aluminum on the side. And that just feels really good. It just feels grippy and nice. It just feels really great in the hand. It's hard to explain it unless you get to feel it yourself. On the top of the mouse, they have this nice soft touch and it feels really great. It's nice and grippy. Added with that texture side, this makes for a good feel in the hand. As you can see here, I have pretty big hands and I have no issues. With this mouse, it fits quite nice, and I think it would accommodate different size hands very well. All of the buttons are very tactile and clicky, feel great, are super responsive, and I know when I click, it is going to be registered. This is quite well made. The Corsair Utility Engine software is super easy to set up. I like this static lighting for my setup with just some a difference of the color, the WASD and the, and the side buttons and function buttons and stuff like that. But you can quickly turn those off in the software, then change it real quick, super easy. Same with it, uh, there's actions and uh, performance, so you can change and set up any macro keys that you wanna set up. Uh, very, very simple and very easy to do. Same then with the mouse setup. You can go in and change your lighting effects here. Uh, then you can go and change the actions, change your buttons, and it's real simple. It points out where things are on your mouse. You can change the DPI and have a bunch of different colors and defaults that change on the mouse so that you can see when you're changing your DPI as well as the sniper button for FPS games. Well, there you have it, friends. This has been the Corsair K65 Lux 10 keyless mechanical keyboard with the M65 Pro RGB gaming mouse. It has been a pleasure using both of them. Responsive keyboard, tactile feel, overall great build quality. A gaming mouse that is fast, accurate, super customizable, with a great texture and weight to it. Super impressed with both of these. And if you want to upgrade your gameplay and get some quality gaming peripherals, these two might be ones to check out. Guys, thank you for watching and liking and subscribing to the channel. I appreciate all your comments and love down below. But it has been fun, and as always, you keep it classy. Oh yeah, let's get to gaming. Gotta pwn some noobs now.